Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome to my 10 week bump date. Today I am 10 weeks and 6 days, so I will be 11 weeks tomorrow. Um, this week I've got some exciting news to share with you, but before that I'm just going to talk about what baby's doing this week. So somebody asked in my last video the apps that I'm using for my pregnancy, and originally I was using Ovia Pregnancy and the Baby Center My Pregnancy app, but I've just downloaded a new app which is called Pregnancy Plus, and it's actually really, really good. Um, it does very similar things to the other apps in that it shows you what's happening each week. Um, but it just has a lot of extra features and stuff. So I'm really enjoying this one at the moment. So I'll just let you know what's happening this week. Um, so it's saying here that baby is um, about three centimeters long and weighs about four grams, which is just ridiculous. Um, the tiny baby floating inside you is now equipped with all the internal organs, the heart being almost fully developed. The tail is gone and the webbing between the fingers and toes has disappeared. Um, the eyes are now moving from the side to the front where they will eventually be located. If you could see your baby's ears, you would notice that they're, fine, they're getting their final shape and getting ready to hear the world. Your baby is preparing to make noise with the diaphragm emerging this week. It's during this week that your morning sickness will likely be the worst. However, it will most likely not get worse than this and it may even be gone by 12 weeks. Fingers crossed. The hormones in your body may also cause erratic mood swings and you may find yourself crying over spilled milk, quite literally. Um, you may have started to put on weight and your pregnancy may even, even be visible. Um, however, it's still early for others to really notice except your loving partner who gently rubs your tummy each night. Um, because your body increases its blood volume by 50, 40 to 50% during pregnancy, your veins might also become more prominent. It's funny that it mentions about the morning sickness because I feel like things are probably on the upwards now. I feel like the last few days things have been settling down a bit more, um, so I'm actually starting to feel a lot better. My dry reaching or my um, my gag has definitely reduced quite a bit. Um, I went like almost a week without it and then I did do it this morning. Um, but overall, like it's pretty much gone, which is great. I still do feel tired, um, mostly in the afternoons. And the headaches are sticking around, but I'm really trying to increase my oral intake and that seems to help. Um, apart from that, the last two days, especially today, I did quite a lot of walking around and I've just noticed that I'm having lots of like stretching sort of feelings um, in my uterus. So lots of stretching, lots of, I wouldn't say cramping, um, just like a heaviness and stretching sort of a feeling down there, which I guess is a good sign that um, everything is growing. Also, the very exciting thing that happened this week, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will already know this, um, but I guess one of the perks of being a midwife is I do have a Doppler, um, because I obviously use it almost every day at work. Um, so I did try to find the baby's heartbeat this week, and I found it quite easily, which is very exciting. So I have heard the baby's heartbeat. I don't listen to it every day. Um, I probably only do it once every maybe every week or a little bit less than that. Um, just, I guess, for a little bit of reassurance, obviously the first trimester can be really difficult because the only thing that you've got to go on is the fact that you're not bleeding and that you've got pregnancy symptoms to even know that you're pregnant. Um, and our scan isn't for another two weeks. So I guess just knowing that the baby's heart rate is normal is a reassuring thing. Um, like I said, our scan is on the 17th of September, so not this, th not next Thursday, but the Thursday after. Um, we plan to probably announce a few days before the scan, purely, um, I mean, in terms of our extended family announcing it, just because um, my grandma flies overseas, I think, next week, like the end of next week. So I'm going to have to tell her this weekend, otherwise, like she's gonna find out by social media, which is not very nice. So I'll probably tell my grandma and um, my auntie on the weekend. And then Ryan's brother is having a birthday party, not this weekend, but next, I'm pretty sure. So um, all his family are gonna be there and stuff, so it'll probably just be easier if we like tell everyone then. And it will be like 
two or three days out from our scan. I've probably listened to the heartbeat before um, just to make sure everything's good. But at the same time, I'm like, so I don't really mind sharing the news um, a little bit early. At the end of the day, if anything was to happen, I would want my family and friends to know, um, you know, about the baby and that sort of thing. It, I think if anything was to happen, it'd be a lot to go through without the support of them. So, um, I've spoken to Ryan about it and we are happy that we will tell everyone in the next, like this weekend and then next weekend. And then by then all of our family members should know um, so we can tell whoever really um, and you know put it on Facebook or whatever the case might be. Trying to think what else has been happening this last week. The only thing I can think of is that I have had some groin pain. I have no idea if that's pregnancy related or just one of those random things. Um, it feels like I've maybe pulled something. I'm not really sure. I had it a few weeks ago and it just went away and then I have it had it again probably like three days ago and it sort of comes and goes so it's not really painful and it's not really bothering me too much so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I've started going to acupuncture again so I went last week and I had a session today. Um, he is really happy with how things are going. He said my pulse ha is the best that it's ever been. Um, he said it's really strong so that's great um, and he basically just wants to see me now whenever I feel like I need to come to him. Um, so at the moment I think I'll probably go every two to three weeks. I know for a while there when I didn't go to see him and it was almost two weeks I was really ready to go um, by the time that two week mark was up. So I'll probably stick to that but I'll really just see how I go. If I need to go more often I will. If I don't think I need to go then I won't. Um, but I definitely want to keep seeing him throughout my pregnancy because um, I just think it will set me up. Um, for a, a nice smoother pregnancy if I continue to see him. <laughs> I mentioned in my last video that I hadn't yet told my manager um, that I was pregnant or my my manager I guess you would call her. Um, I She's actually on holidays or something like that so someone else is taking over from her so um, I went and had a chat with her and just let her know that I was pregnant um, because I'm wanting to go to my hospital and I want like a certain team of midwives. She was basically happy to put me on that team of midwives. That was basically the first thing she said when um, I mentioned that I wanted to go to birth center. She was like, well, what team do you want? Um, and I told her and she's like, that's fine, like, but you have to have some perks to um, working here um, and that's getting the midwife that you want. So she was really lovely about it. Um, so I'm pretty much, well, I guess I'm guaranteed to get the midwives I want. Um, I think I still have to wait till next week for them to like officially um, like assign all the midwives because they normally do it um, when you're about the 11 to 12 week mark and I think from what she was showing me she'd done everyone that was due the week before me on Monday so I think on mo this Monday she'll be doing like all the ladies that are due in the same week as me and just allocating them to midwives so I'll get the official word on Monday um, that I'm with that team and then an appointment should be made for me then. So that's really exciting, which again is a perk of working there is that I can do my appointments in the middle of my working day and I'll just work my appointments around when I have to go see my midwife. Um, the only, I guess, annoying thing is I'm starting to book in women that are due in March as well and I'm having to tell them like, I will be looking after you like your whole pregnancy until like probably February, like the end of February and then I will be having my baby around the same time you're having your baby so I won't be able to look after you. Um, which kind of sucks because I'm getting some really, really lovely women through um, and it's quite funny that we might end up um, birthing in the hospital at the same time. That would be quite funny. Apart from that, I don't think I really have any more updates for you guys. Um, what I might do though is um, go find my Doppler and you guys can listen to the baby's heartbeat. Um, at the moment I'm finding it quite easily. At first I was finding it more to the left hand side because I think that's where my uterus was tilted to but it seems to be coming back to the middle now because I'm finding the baby's heartbeat right in the middle and 
last week like if I felt on the left side like it was a bit harder and then on the right there was like nothing and now it seems to be like more centered so I guess maybe as it's growing it's kind of having to go back into the middle I'm not really sure so I will do that so you guys can listen to the baby's heartbeat <laughs> I love that sound, seriously. I hope you guys can hear this properly. <laughs> that was the baby moving. I'm finding it quite central there as well. Um, not really that low down either. Alright guys, that's all I have for you this week. So stay tuned for next week and I will talk to you guys then. Bye!